here we are again. We're going to go through the last month, March's moon and sun, and anyway, P900 pictures. Whatever have we got is what we're going to be going for. And here. hopefully NASA won't let you get them anymore. Yeah. Well, I did post that video uh, in the community about NASA's silliness. Oh, they changed it. Why you do this to me? I think I, that's the one I'm starting out with. Okay. So. Hmm. All right. What? Oops. We got fuzzies. Well. So I'm clicking through fuzzies. That's but what it. Gate. Well, you're not supposed to tell people where everything is. No, it's just it's out here somewhere. Okay, that's fine. Now, um, it's not fuzzy. It's actually just it's twenty miles away. Uh, no, that's not that eighty miles. Away. That one's eighty miles away. Okay, that's up in Kansas. Yep. Okay. Uh, that is too, but you, those are little bits. I can see them. We'll zoom in on the zoom in. And that's how far? 80-ish. 80 miles away. Okay. Oops. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Look oh. at that condensation. Yep. Okay. More condensation. More condensation. condensation. FedEx. Don't you? Because it says FedEx on it. <laughs> you can't see that far away. You, oh, I know. And the pretty colors and everything. That that was kind of a first first sliver. I don't think it was exact. I don't know what which month that was. But... It's March. Okay, because I all of wasn't these able to get March's first. Okay, okay. So that's about the second. The third. I think it started with the third. Well, but I mean that's actually the second phase phase seven. Oh, okay. Second sliver of okay. the moon because I could not find the first sliver. This is a little bit more. That, that one's the next night ish, next evening. And that was just, uh, there's a couple of those. How dirty is the sky? I don't know. Well, it looks pretty anyway. I'm not flipping around too fast. That that other picture was just about what you actually see with the naked eye. That one? That one there is about what you see with the naked eye. And then zooming in. in. Zooming in. And zoomed in. And super zoomed in. No little green men. Okay. But you do see the Artemis. Oh yeah, I mean rocket that they sent up there and, with SpaceX and the little American flag flipping yep. around, mm -hmm. and the solar wind. Yeah, no. I mean because I'm Mart, I am very Mart. This is the next. No, this is the next one. Okay. You can see it's uh, kind of supposedly three quarters full. And it is somewhat important to know kind of the you know time frame, but it's hard to put on the video or the or, <clears throat> you know it's as you can tell those are daylight ones. Uh, Let's see, these are the ones that are about the eighteenth of the month. Well, and the con the time of the oh the you know taken at what time of yeah, the day? No, that was in the morning ish time. Uh, yeah, around this says around six thirty p.m. Ah, okay. Well, still dayish. 
Dirty Scott, Dirty Scott. Oops, more 80 mile away wind generators. That's, I don't know how fuzzy those are. Okay, but you can tell what the monstrosities are. Nasty things. I'd like to know where that radio Some pretty is. good grass focused in there. That there's prairie grass. Oh, that one's fuzzy. They just kind of ruined the view. And this, oops, that's a video. Really? Did you forget that you did it? No. You didn't? You just didn't think we'd know what it was? Yep. Okay. This is a video. Yes, I'm being sarcastic. Nothing special? No, just trying. That's a picture. No. And that's grain a silo about mm -hmm. 17 miles away. Just before you drop off into Ditch Valley. Okay, I think that one is it still doing more or is that I'm not going around again. No, I'm not. This is Getting closer to full. Yeah. So this is about um it's still on the eighteenth though. Yeah. About seven seven going into eight PM. Now we got into some nighttime. Yeah. Later. Still note how you see the through the moon. Now you see through the dark through and it's dark behind it. And in this other pictures they were blue behind it. I know it's atmospheric cleansing. <laughs> It is. I mean, you need to understand how those things work. See how it's blue around it because it's the deep, dark vacuum of outer space. The vacuum in hmm. Now, honestly, I had a hard time as far as figuring out which was actually full moon as far as taking pictures. There was about three days. They were all about these were the, on the 22nd around 7 to 9 p.m. Hard to figure the, you know, the, although there was 22nd, 23rd, and 24th, and I think full moon was 23rd. Oh, okay. And I mean, it was hard to determine oh, which one was which. Yeah, because it just, and on the actual full moon, it came up really much later. Or it seemed to. That was just fuzzy. It was a morning shot and I wasn't. I just thought, well, I'll try to get it real quick because it was kind of clear. Oh, these are a little bit lighter. Yeah, I'll those should that, be. But... Those are coming out. They're waxing. Okay, hold on a second. Um, this is one. It was really nasty windy. Uh, when I was trying to get some, there is a, a sunspot. It's really hard. It's quick. It's over in the yeah, you right there. See. Looks like there's another one. Right yeah, there. there's a couple, but really hard to catch. It was, and I was trying. And sorry, it was windy. It was dirty. It was windy. But I kind of caught an angstrom anyway. An angstrom. If you follow suspicious observers, then you will understand. Well, and that other old gal, whatever. Oh, 
the hour waning. As and you then can. these are, yeah, these are the 29th and 30th. Anyway, it's, uh oh, that was some daylight moon video. Waning. I guess that's what NASA still calls it. It's hard to say what NASA calls anything anymore. Well, here you can't sell a P900. So there, that's what we say. Now that's east. The moon's coming back into the west side of the sun. That's what I'm trying to so. show. See, and that's on the west side. It's coming back in. It's waning back into the... <sighs> yeah, seriously, the sky is kind of in the same boat as that. Anyhow. It's been very dirty. That's the moon makers. Oh, they're such cute little calves. With the, those little spotted ones are just adorable. There should be some, I don't know if we got any wind generation, but that there is not always Oklahoma. That there be about 30 miles away. Dirty though. So is the lens, by the way. <laughs> You need to clean your lens. But that there's there's some Nubaru and some Oh, okay, and some wormwood. Uh huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's a really dirty lens if I need to. When were the fires? I can't remember. They were sometime last month, weren't they? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Or the month before. I don't remember. But that's I like that's funny. You, you watch them go over the earth curvature there <laughs> and uh that's just how dirty it's been we need rain so bad see that there earth curvature but it's really curvy that's a windmill Well, it's a little, it was a little glary. I was looking for sunspots. Mm -hmm. There, is the next, or the that there is a, an Airbus three hundred and fifty. That's that thrown out some condensation. Mm -hmm. Boy, the sky was. But if it goes through those, it's I, it's hard to. Visualize it. Not the ice crystal. It's not hard to visualize. But <laughs> it, How dirty the sky is. But it's also, when we get to here in a moment, and of course this here is, I think I might have got a little bit of, a. it's in the bottom corner there, kind of like at the four o'clock, five o'clock. There's a little bit of angstrom going on. Those, uh, all right, down yeah. there, you see it. The, those, um, solar flares are going to knock out the grid, you know. Of course, I mean, if you look at still picture, it's funny that it looks like the moon on the on the edges. Mm -hmm. It's got the, I mean, they're both lights. That's right. So you would kind of expect it. And no, it's not that big. I mean, obviously, you can tell that. In, and anyway, this, if when we get get a little further down there, I'll try to, uh, and no, the sun's not that big either. But anyway, what I'm, what I'm trying to show there, it's, it's an Airbus 350. It's at 40,000 feet. 
it's from Atlanta going to LAX, Los Angeles. And you can see, where is it there? It's mm. past Seaboard City. I mean, it's up. A, yes, there is a Hooker, Oklahoma people. Um. Okay, it's past Liberal, above Seaboard, uh, Guyman. There's Liberal. And if if you click the next picture, I'm trying to. It's in there. You see it. Mm -hmm. uh, see, and I and it is not at all zoomed in. There's zoomed in a little bit more. And zoomed in a little more, um, you know, and I'm and still not really all the way zoomed in as far as camera's concerned. And, you know, you're seeing that at 40,000 feet at 120-ish miles away. Uh -huh, plus, I mean, we'll get a little even further away here in a little bit. Let's see, is it on that one that there's a 737 coming towards it? They missed each other, by the way. Oh, they didn't hit. I think well, it's good. On this one. Yeah, it's right there. In the mm -hmm. That's 737 coming kind of towards it. It was fun playing with anyway. Those are some birds that went by. Really? Yep. No, wow. it was UFOs. Uh, oh, okay. Well, I'm sure. UFOs with flappy wings. Didn't know what kind they were. You were so silly. <sighs> and I will try to show the <clears throat> the the <sighs> different. Now the seven thirty seven is a little bit lower. I think it was around thirty seven thousand. Quite a fair piece away. Uh, it, you would think. You would think the maybe the Earth curvature would kind of eat this up. Nah, it's just a mirage. That's, that is that is it. <laughs> Now, I when I kind of pan down to take video of of what the flight radar. It, oh, it, okay. It, it kind of I do a lot of moving around because I'm. Oh, if you guys didn't catch the Sapient podcast, um, he also has that on his YouTube channel, Ganesh Detta. I don't know if I'm saying his name right, um, but he's in India, and we had a blast. Um, he's a very conservative India person, and it was a lot of fun. Let's see. There was something else I wanted to share. Oh, yeah, I ran into these tips on how to survive trying to get it to focus. trying to show that okay the 737 is up above it okay you, you see oh it's that one yeah that's the okay. 737 that's okay. the set 350 the red one and it's over by elkhart no where is it um south of springfield on the other side of elkhart yeah and that's the 737. Um, yeah, the, actually, it's almost into Colorado. And uh, that's, and that's still just stills of it. And trying to get that one is about the furthest away if, if you get that. That's all the way to Kenton. That, yeah. And, and that's the Colorado. The yeah, Oklahoma, Colorado, and state line, Kansas. Yeah, and anyway, that technically, you know, and you can still see it from us on the other we're, end of we're, the panhandle. We're on 183. We're from the end of the panhandle, so we're seeing it. That's nigh on 200 miles. Yeah, 200 miles away. 
uh, further and anyway just just and if the okay. sky was clear was it'd be pretty we no right. i don't think no yeah it that's was it. that's all we've got that's pretty awesome we made it through unless you wanted me to show them the beginning of the month ones that you had um I don't remember which one they were. First of April. Did you want me to show those? If you want to. Uh, why did it open up too? There we go. Um, So these are, let's see, this was the third on this one, and then the fourth. Oh, that's today's, yeah, basically that's today. today. That, what I'm trying to show there, <laughs> that's this morning. And it is even more evident, you can see that, you know, that moon is to the west. In our world, when I pull back out there, the, you can see the sunrise this morning and then and yeah it's still kind of dirty well i mean we've had but see that that's looking east. You can see the sunrise. The moon's coming into the west side of the sun. Is trying to get. Now the other pictures aren't quite so good. That one was a pretty good. They were wanting to overexpose. That should be the last one. Okay. And, okay. and those other pictures when the moon first first sliver is on the east side of the sun. And I, I'm i sure that NASA tells you how it... I'm, I'm sure. Moon yeah. If you're questioning lock. any of this, you can always check out the NASA website and see what they think. Moon the tide um, we are being facetious. Anybody who's normal here knows something on my eye. Man, whatever. Okay, so I've got some eclipse survival tips here. This was posted by Justin Alva. I don't know where, but somebody shared it. I just have to. Animals may behave strangely. If your dog squeaks like a man, heed its dire warnings. <laughs> Bless you. Don't trust a squirrel with a child's face. It speaks only lies. When yeah. your double arrives, resist the inclination to fight it. It may be stronger than you. Chances are it'll disappear after the eclipse. Be careful it doesn't switch places. It will be a few decades before you can get the chance to come back. If you stare into the void and it blinks first, you win, but the pri prize is insanity. Werewolves are not only impossible to kill during an eclipse. Be careful touching that. It might fall down. Um, they become super Oops. well werewolves. Are, are you making it? Yep. You're making it fall down. You're showing all my junk behind there. Yeah, my push pins gave up. Um, whatever you do, don't buy any weird plants. We don't want a repeat of last time. Apophis, the moon serpent, may try to eat you. Let him. Remember, no matter how salty, salty your GBF is, the moon still throws the best shade. If once upon a time you were falling in love, but now you're only falling apart, there's nothing you can do. This is a different kind of eclipse. So anyway, I thought that was funny. I had to share it. Let's see. There was some other stuff too. Oh yeah, this one was good. Here's to the girls who care more about acreage than square footage. Amen to that, people. 
God's church isn't in trouble. Man's church is. Let's see. The Great Salt Plains National Wildlife Refuge is now open for, or will soon be open for dig digging season. It is now open April 1st through October 15th. If you want to dig for crystals, look that up. Um, <laughs> yeah, they aren't trying to fix anything. They're trying to break everything and leave it broken. You might want to start paying closer attention. Oh, here's a good one. This is a quote from Dr. Havner. He passed away in 1986. He said, the devil is not fighting religion. He's too smart for that. He's producing a counterfeit Christianity, so much like the real one that good Christians are afraid to speak out against it. So Vance, Dr. Vance Havner, he was absolutely right. And not only that, um, not only are they afraid to speak out, they're also, they will eat you if you speak out or attempt to. So anyway, um, yeah, lots of, there's been some fun things. Oh, we've got the, uh, the cover reveal for the magazine, which is going to be out at the end of this month. Let no. me see. Oh, I don't have that up. What, dear? Well, they're telling you that the eclipse is... I don't know what they're saying about the eclipse because well, I am not well, listening to anybody. And the well, werewolves the will be super werewolves. Yep, the eighth. Um, and and this is the fourth. And I just didn't compute that it would be the moon. I know I've got it. I have it going to show you guys the magazine. Okay. Da, 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 da. Hold on. See where I'm at. Share screen. There we go. Da, 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 da. Okay. So this is the cover of the magazine that will be out April 30th. Stepping into victory. We're going to have herbal teas, equipping our children, responsible breeding, um, being raised on a farm prepares you for life. We're going to have um, uh, infant care tips and all kinds of stuff. So anyway, we're excited about that as submissions are starting to come in. If you are a writer uh, or photographer and <laughs> the dogs are helping now. And you would um, like to send a submission in, let me know and uh, email me at the donita at prairiedestrail.com and do all caps magazine in the uh, subject so I catch it. And I will send you the information on. Uh, joining the magazine uh, it is it's a non-paid thing right now uh, but you know uh, if you happen to have your a business or ministry uh, this year we're giving a half page ad with each submission now it is a bible-based magazine so you must be a bible believing born again individual uh but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm open, open. Uh, like I said, the theme is stepping into victory. So if you're a writer or photographer, we would love to, you know, I, I want this open for lots of people to, uh, to join us and, and, you know, they, I don't write at all. I can't write at all. So anyway, we had like over 70 pages in the last one. And that was almost too much for me to actually make available for people to download. So I'm going to try to keep it less than 70 pages from now on. But uh, they've been running between between 50, 60 pages, uh, every one of them. And that is a lot of content there. There's really no like full page pictures. Um, and the ads are usually people, they're not paid ads. Usually they're usually people who are, you know, put something in and I'm just, I want to help promote uh, other people's businesses and stuff. So, uh, we have a few paid ads, but, uh, 
I, I'm not, I am not an advertising person. I am not a marketing person. So I hate drumming up ads. It, it, it's just not my thing. So, and that's part of the reason it's not a print magazine because I'm too lazy to drum, drum up ads and trying to have printed that many pages would be extremely expensive and yeah it, it it would be a whole nother nightmare but at the end of the year we will have all four of the magazines on amazon available again so you know you will be able to get it in paper at the end of the year uh all four of them in one volume so uh yeah i anyway i always get excited about the magazine because i love seeing everybody's stuff that they send in and I've been meeting new people and stuff, and it's always a lot of fun. So anyway, um, yeah, I uh, if you've made it to the end of the thing, uh, if you happen to be at the Medieval Fair in Norman, let me know. Send me an email and, you know, put that Medieval Fair in the subject line, and I'll try to meet you there. Uh, I'm not going to have a booth or anything like that. I might try to do that one of these days, but not yet. I'm just going to be there having fun. And if somebody, if, if you're going to be around and you want to meet me, then uh, let me know and we'll say, Hey, and get a selfie together. And that would be cool to see some of you guys. I'm going to try letting you guys know whenever I'm out and about, which is not often, but, um, yeah, I, I'm trying to get a little bit more social than what I am. I could really just be a hermit and stay at home all the time. But anyway, I think that's it. I need to get the rest of my packing and stuff done and, uh, get on with things. So I hope you enjoyed the P900 update and some of the other silliness and I uh, I have no idea what I'm going to do next week so I, I've got research going on a couple of different things and I get lost in the research and then I end up down another bunny hole and then another rabbit hole and then yeah and so um anyway so I, I'm going to leave this at this and thank you all for coming. And remember, you can make it through the dust storms of life with God's divine help.